Hello, guys. Welcome back to Numbi's Book Elegance. This is Hua An, a Chinese with Western style. And today we are talking about a pair of penny loafer from an American company, Sebago. Stay tuned. Welcome to Numbi's Book Elegance. No fast fashion, only timeless classics. No cheap made, no high price tags. I am your friend, menswear enthusiast. Huan. It is summer, and it's one of the best seasons to unleash your passion about loafers. And Sebago here is definitely one of your choices to go to when it comes to loafers. <laughs> it is made with great leather, well constructed, good comfortability, great functionality, and compatibility. Not to mention. It has decent aesthetics. Last but not the least, the price tag on that is pretty accessible. So, without further ado, let's get into the detailed review on this beautiful penny loafer from Sebago. I usually do shoe review in the order of leather quality, construction, and aesthetics. But today, let's reverse that. Let's do aesthetics first. Oh, by the way, I got another two pair of penny loafer from Kohan and Lofantang to do an in-depth comparison between them and our Sebago penny loafer. This is the heritage penny model of Sebago. First look, we have a very classic penny loafer with proportions resembling the Lopez model from John Lop. Kirby Edison talked about in his July videos. The overall shape of the shoe is pretty dapper and sleek. That is determined by the last shape. A loafer with classic look. It's definitely built on a very nice last. We have a very classic English round toe, with the toe leans towards the ground. See detailed footage later for the toe leaning towards the ground. Overall, a very well balanced shoe with a sleek side look. Now let's do the comparison between these three penny loafers I owned in terms of aesthetics. So the Kohan to the left is very chunky, while Sebago in the middle has a very classic dapper look and shape, while. The Lofantang to the right is even more slimmer and dapper. Toe shape, you can see, Kohan doesn't really have a toe shape; it's chunky. While Sebago and Lofantang is way more classic and elegant. Kohan is the worst looking among the three in terms of side look, while Sebago and Lofantang is way more elegant. And a comparison of toe leaning towards the ground, Kohan curves a lot upward, while our Sebago stays very near the ground, and Lofantang also leans towards the ground. Now let's dive into the construction. We have a very classic penny strap stitched to the upper tongue, and also a hand sewn apron here. With great details, you can see our Sebago here has a single stitch of the penny strap to the upper tongue area, and the apron here are well constructed. It is hand sewn. Another look, another angle. Moving towards the inner side of the shoe, we have this quarter area with great arch support. Decent amount of arch support at the inner side of the quarter gives your foot more support and protection. And we have a very dapper rear quarter sits tightly on a heel with a very small gap. A closer look at the rear quarter and the heel. We have a small gap here. 
considering it's a 360 degree Gucci welted, this gap is totally acceptable. Not to mention, this heritage penny loafer from Sebago employs a 360 degree Gucci welted technique. Again, usually 360 degree Gucci welted gives you a significant gap around the heel part. But here we can see as the welt and the stitches goes around the shoe, the gap near the heel is negligible. And by the way, this shoe comes at a price around $70, so a visible channel stitching here is acceptable. Here at the bottom of the outsole, visible channel stitching, rubber padding, and rubber heel with some brand illustration, hand sewn since 1946. And moving towards the inner of the shoe, we have a、uh, very solid leather padding with extra padding material here around the arch part to give your foot more support. You can see at the inner padding here, we have an extra piece of leather padding on the arch part. What's funny is that this shoe has no inner lining. I'll put more detailed video here. And you can see there is just this raw, coarse part of the upper leather with no lining covering it. That means your foot is gonna directly contact the upper leather. The no lining feature. Can be easily seen at the tongue area where we see the tongue edge has no lining. And also, we call this part up beading. What is up beading? Up beading is the piece of leather or synthetic material they use between the inner lining and the upper leather, which intends to cover or say hide. The inner lining to give the whole shoe a very uniform look. This one here has an up beading by using a piece of leather, which is the same type of leather and same color with the upper. And they stitch the top beading leather here to the upper separately, which is very uncommon these days since most shoemakers only show a small piece of top beading. Inside the inner lining and upper leather, instead of using this、uh, extra piece of thick leather here, but I do think this piece of leather give your foot more support and more protection. Again, no lining here. We see raw material of the upper, and we have the top beading made out of the same material, same leather as the upper. This stitch. Inside and outside. Now let's do the comparison between these three penny loafers in terms of construction. So for our comparison, Kohan here, when the penny strap meets the upper leather, the decoration there are of different sizes, and they have a careless finished apron with some stiff rise and edge. Here, Sebago here have a single stitched penny strap to the upper. Sorry, it's actually a double stitched, and the apron here is actually hand sewn. For our low fan tongue here, the penny strap is stitched, double stitched to the upper, with a nicely finished apron with great stitch density. Kohan, by the way, here has a relatively soft toe part, considering it does have a toe puff or say toe counter. While the bagel here has no lining, of course, no puff. And Lo Fan Tang here has great stiff、uh, toe counter or say toe puff. For the arch support, we have a no arch support at all, Kohan. While our Sebago and our Lo Fan Tang has. Great arch support. You can see the curvature here and here on the low fan tongue. Moving to examine the bottom of the outsole, we have a faux rubber outsole on Kohan with fake Gucci welted stitch, and our Sebago has Gucci welted 
you can see the visible channel and also our uh, loaf and tongue full leather also with Gucci about it stitch that's hidden stitch although it looks like a open channel stitch a closer look at the back the rear quarter of the shoe and the heels Kohan here has a rubber heel which is also very thin and a no shape rear quarter while Sebago has a rear quarter sits tightly on the heel and the heel height is decent while our loaf and tongue has a tapered heel with great shape of the rear quarter and now let's move on to examine the leather quality this heritage penny loafer here used a very oiled and waxed leather very much resemble the Chromaxel from Formi which means when you squeeze the leather like what I'm doing you give some pressure here at the certain part of the shoe the leather actually change colors because they are so oiled and waxed and you can see here some part turn darker while some part turn lighter the leather is pretty soft and pliable and extremely comfortable we can see once we squeeze or say crease the leather there are going to be darker part and lighter part that's because the leather is so oiled and waxed the oil drives the dyes around once you squeeze it now let's move on to the comparison in terms of leather quality not even top gray but highly corrected gray with serious wax polish on Kohan while this very unique oiled waxed look on our Sebago that's full grain leather and uh, full grain leather on the low fan tongue which is pretty shiny okay that's it for today's review on this Sebago heritage penny this shoe actually has a lot of differences than most dress shoes we own these days and I hope you guys like this one and find something useful in this video. If you like my channel, can I ask you one thing? Move your mouse to the subscribe button and hit it. And uh, I will see you next one. Very classic loafer. Three loafers in terms of 